بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ لاسٹ ٹائم وین وی یو ٹوگیدر وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ گورننس اینڈ ریمونریشنس اینڈ بینیفٹس اینڈ وی ٹاک اباؤٹ اٹس ویریس ڈائمنشنالٹیز اینڈ اٹس ویریس کانگروزنس اینڈ آلسو اگین ہاؤ اٹ ہیز این امپیکٹ آن گورننس ایز اے ہول ان دی آرگنائزیشن ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ اے ویری انٹرسٹنگ اینڈ براڈ ٹاپک ایشوز آف گورننس ریلیٹ ٹو امپلیمنٹیشن آف رسک مینجمنٹ ناؤ ڈیز in the post covid scenario and especially uh, due to uh, the economic slowdown which is taking place around the world implementation of risk management has become extremely important we see that there's a lot of uncertainty we see that many businesses have been hit by logistics uh, and by movement uh, of different uh, parts and parcels of a particular product and then again we see that there is a lot of uncertainty amongst Uh, multinational organizations and national organizations therefore understanding risk management and its implementation in the context of governance becomes very important uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, when we're talking about risk managers then they are often kept separate from the management and not regarded as an essential part of implementing the company strategy both financial and non-financial companies face a similar range of risks that need to be managed including operational strategic and market risks So what we see, ladies and gentlemen, is that usually the risk management team is not given the same importance as the other teams of a particular organization. And again, it is sometimes considered more of a luxury than something which is of essence for the company's survival and strategy. Uh, we also see that uh, there's not only one type of risk, there's an operational risk which is taking place, there are strategic risks, and definitely there are market risks, which all have to be evaluated, analyzed, and then made sure that they are uh, encapsulated within the strategy uh, of the organization and proper safeguards are kept to ensure that risks are managed without putting the organization at stake and also uh, getting into high risk areas. The aim to ensure that risks are understood, managed and when appropriate communicated. So again, we see that not only has a risk to be understood or comprehended, but it also has to be managed in the best possible way And the most important thing is that it should be communicated so that everyone is aware of the circumstances and also the risks involved in taking different interventions and initiatives. An effective implementation of risk management requires an enterprise-wide approach rather than treating each business unit individually. So this is also very important that we cannot look at things from a bigoted view or from a narrow-minded view. We have to have a fish view. We have to look at things differently. We have to see how they integrate into the vision, mission, and values of the organization and then implement it nationwide so that uh, those risks are basically uh, ensured that they do not tend to materialize. Uh, the board should also review and provide guidance about the alignment of corporate strategy with risk uh, appetites. To assist the board in its work, it should be considered a good practice that the risk management and the control functions being dependent of the profit center. So again, what we see is is that uh, the risk management team is usually an independent cell and they basically tend to overlook uh, the different initiatives and interventions and see what are the different risks which are uh, involved. And then they report it to the board so that the board can take some strategic direction and also ensure that it does not have the risk uh, of basically uh, winding up or uh, facing a huge loss. So all of these things are extremely important. The process of risk management and the results of risk assessments should be appropriately discussed. Uh, corporate governance standard setters should be encouraged to include or reflect uh, references to risk management to raise overall awareness. So this is very important. It should be done in a friendly way uh, without any antagonistic approach. And then it should be moving towards a better corporate governance model uh, where risks are properly uh, hedged together and ensured uh, that there are no problems. So again, what we see is, is that Uh, even though uh, the risk management unit is usually considered to be an outsider and reporting to the chairman. But nowadays, uh, due to uh, multiple risks emerging in most of the different sectors, therefore one has to pro proactively engage into risk management and ensure that a better governance environment, a better governance framework tends to uh, evolve from this whole process. Thank you so much.